Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to back up or restore your Windows registry. This is great information to have. It's a little intimidating at first, but it's not that hard to do. So just follow along with me. We'll get it done. Let's open the registry editor, Windows key plus R, and type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And that's RegEdit. Let's talk first about exporting the entire registry. I'm not a big fan. I, I tend to like to export what I'm going to edit, but I'm going to show you that in just a minute. To back up the whole registry, just click File right here and click Export. So Export is Backup. Import is Restore. Click Export. Let's pick a name for it. Uh, entire registry. Maybe date it. Maybe add on what you were doing. You can make it as pretty much as long as you want. And what you will see, you see how that mouse or the uh, cursor is spinning? An entire backup, an entire restore takes a lot longer than backing up a simple key. Backing up a simple key, which I'll show you in just a minute, is very easy. So down the road so you know, it should be in documents by default. But when you exported it, make sure you look and see where it's going. As you can see, it's in documents. Make sure you know where to get it. All right, so there we go. Now we've exported the entire registry, but let's talk about the better way. Let's back up what we're going to play with. So I'm going to quickly delete my entire one here, and here's what I'm going to do. For our example, check right here and highlight that or go to Computer, H key, Current User. You can do it this way, work your way down, or paste in that to get to Colors. And we're going to play with this just as an example for no other reason so you can see how it works. So we're going to want to back up just what we're going to play with. So in this colors folder, I'm going to play with active border, which is actually by default 188, 188, 188. So I'm going to right click on the colors folder because I know I want to back up what I'm doing here. Right click on colors, do export. And let's name it colors for testing. Today's date. Make sure you're in documents. Hit save. As you can see, it's 188, 188, 188. So I'm going to edit that real quick and make it 0, 0, 0. And I'll show you why in a minute. So now we've made that change after we've made the backup. So we're good to go. Now we're going to talk about restoring. Let's restore it. So. We're going to do almost the same thing as you can probably guess. You saw File, Export. Now we want to Import. And take note, again, I changed this to 000. We knew it was 188, 188, 188. Here it is right here. You can double click it or click Open, and you're done. Active Border is now 188, 188, 188. And we're going to play with it again. Once again, I have another way I prefer to do it. I don't mind the file import too much, but I like to double click the file if you know where it is. So we're going to find the file. As we mentioned, we know we're in documents. Here is my colors testing 2.4 before I made the changes. Double click it. Click on yes. And once again, click on yes. This is nice. It gives you two chances to make sure you're doing the right thing. And once you see the prompt that everything's been done, let's open RegEdit. And as you can see, we're back to 188, 188, 188. And everything else, which wasn't changed, is exactly the way we left it. So there you have it. If you have any problems, be sure you go into safe mode. And finally, if you want to follow along with this tutorial at home, you can click the little eye up here and follow through to the tutorial. I'll have the video embedded right here by the time you see this video. And you can kind of follow along and if you wanted to copy paste this code or whatever you need to do. But as you can see, backing up and restoring your registry is not that hard to do. If you're going to play with it, you should back it up. At least back up that key that you're playing with so you always have it. And date them, name them properly so you know if you have a problem two weeks down the road after a Windows update or something, you need, need to know what you backed up, why, where your problem is, and be able to recognize it. Really easy to do. And again, we have a lot of free programs on Major Geeks. Tweaking.com's Windows Repair, that has a free backup and restore. It gives you a nice little graphical user interface, but I think you'll agree this isn't too hard now that you've seen it. 
There you have it. Bottom right hand corner over here somewhere. The logo pops up. You can click subscribe. Give us a like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate it. See ya.